October 6th, St. Faith, Virgin, and Companions, All Martyrs. Among those Christians whose invincible constancy triumphed over the malice of Dacian, prefect of Gaul under Diocletian and Maximian, none was more illustrious than St. Faith. She was born in France, and though of exquisite beauty, was insensible to all the allurements of the world. When she was apprehended and brought before Dacian, making the sign of the cross on different parts of her body, she uttered this prayer. Lord Jesus, who art always ready to assist your servants, fortify me at this hour, and enable me to answer in a manner worthy of you. The tyrant, assuming an air of mildness, asked her, What is your name? She answered, My name is Faith, and I endeavor to support in reality what that name signifies. Dacian said, What is your religion? Faith responded, I have from my infancy served Christ, and to him I have consecrated my whole soul. He then said, Come, child, have some regard for your youth and beauty. Renounce the religion you profess and sacrifice to Diana who is a divinity of your own sex, and who will bestow on you the most precious of gifts. Faith then responded, The divinities of the Gentiles are devils. How can you advise me to sacrifice to them? Dacian then in a rage said, What? Do you presume to call our gods devils? You must resolve instantly to sacrifice or expire under torments. The saint, calling to mind the courage of the martyrs and the glorious crown promised to those who preserve to the end, far from being terrified at the menace of the tyrant, feels herself inflamed with a new desire to die for her lord. No, she cried, I am not only prepared to suffer every torment for Christ, but I burn with impatience to die for him. Dacian, more enraged than ever, ordered a brazen bed to be produced and the saint to be bound on it with iron chains. A great fire was kindled under it, the heat of which was rendered still more intolerable by the addition of oil and other matter. The spectators, struck with pity and horror, exclaimed, How can the tyrant thus torment an innocent young virgin only for worshipping God? Thereupon Dacian apprehended numbers of them, and these refused to sacrifice, and they were beheaded with saint faith. Good example is one of the strongest incentives to virtue. Woe to us if we harden our hearts against the salutary impressions which the heroic virtue and examples of so many saints ought to make upon us. The companions of the martyrdom of St. Faith, fired by seeing the glorious conflict and trophies of the Holy Virgin, arrive themselves at an equal crown. How can we read the lives of so many illustrious saints without reproaching ourselves for our base ingratitude to God and repeated abuse of divine grace, and without aspiring to an imitation of their zeal, devotion, charity, humility, compunction, and fervor?